The group, it seems like a liberator and because we are, it supports a lot of kids to learn art from the community and they also to join sports. And they, it, it makes them to, to believe their talents and to create their future and they, we are giving them. Also, the group give the hope to the kids to for their future plans. Yeah. <laughs> and Morgan had never really had a permanent home his whole life. He was moved from home to home, um, rejected by his father. His mother wasn't uh, mentally capable of looking after him. He had love from his BB, but only for a few years. He worked in his father's coffee fields, child labor, and I know now he's very desperately um, against child labor. I'm sure it's from having uh, been there as a child. Very intelligent guy. He didn't start, he went to nursery school when he was 10 years old. That's the first schooling he had. And he's one of the brightest young men of 22, leader in this community. He's the one who's pulled a hundred children together and, and given them a place to hang out. Um, do art, uh, formed soccer clubs and teams. He, he, you name it, you have a suggestion, and he makes it happen. I've, it's it's incredible, really, if you think about where he's come from. I don't know um, if that's a survival aspect or just a destiny, but he's pretty incredibly special. I lived uh, on the street and uh, then while I was there uh, I saw a lot of kids and uh, also I saw the kids in the community, they have the talent but they are, th there is no one who can support them to reach their specific goals or for the, their future. So I, And then when I got the final education from there and the, I did a lot of uh, artworks, then I want to transmit my what I have to, to the kids. Here now, um, because I love football, I would like also to do like exercise with the, some of um, our students at the heart club. So we, um, I used to, I'm um, bringing the, I, I have a tendency and I told all of the kids to come together at the evening time from 3 up to 6 in the evening to have a exercise breakfast because it makes them strong and the health, you know. Yep. So, and also it, this, practice it, it 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 brings like a friendship between them yeah instead of uh, staying uh, of coming or to, because they meet they used to meet at the art club so if they meet also in the football field have exercise and this it, it, it will make the friendship between all the kids and the, the for the ally Rogers having spent three years living on the streets of Moshi he had he had boarded a bus in hope to go to Dar Salaam, but only had enough money to make it to Moshi and end up 
on the streets for three years until he was uh, taken in by the this shelter for street kids. Joseph, his, I, I believe his story is his mom just couldn't provide for him and, uh, and his little brother, so Joseph found his way into the center as well. I've been painting for Four years, you know, and then I'm doing my painting. Uh, the style which I, I do like is the abstract and uh, and tinga tinga. There are some, and uh, I wish someday to become a famous artist. Yeah. yeah. For the next tour, mm -hmm. um, I'm just uh, working here down in Hard Life. Yeah. Yeah, spread the word of Hard Life and teaching more kids and uh, spread the, the word to girls to learn hard. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, and what about your own painting career? Are you spending time on your own painting? Yeah, I spend a little time. Yeah. Um, like on Tuesday. Yep. On Monday, I used to paint like a, three times in a week. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes when I, I feel to have a free time, I used to sketch. You sketch I at home. Sketching, yeah, sketching oh, okay. At home, yeah. With what do you sketch with? I used to sketch the environment, the villages, yeah. peoples. Yeah. Yeah, everything. And David. He had heard about the shelter from Rogers, so he, he left a very loving family and mother um, because he, he hadn't been able to attend school for four years. And I think he, he knew inside that his future was much brighter than walking around the streets of Arusha. So he boarded a bus and came right to the street, the Center for Street Kids. and went along with a couple of buddies, but they ended up going back because they were turned away at the door and David stayed on and they, they finally took him in. I was come here in Moshi in 2006 at Mkombos there, there I was started studying and 2009 we established our art, art group there in Mkombos so, so now we are out of Mkombos we staying ourselves, we making art, we teach art. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm feeling like a free man now. Yeah. Because I got uh, many issues to do because I'm <laughs> finishing school. Good. What are some of the things you want to do now? Uh, it is to teach some more kids because I was not getting enough time to teach them. Okay. So, but he, now I will be having enough time to teach them. Okay. Well, you like teaching the kids? Yeah. Yeah. I'm really like to teach them because I believe the kids are our future. Excellent. The sunrise, which is mean it is in, in the morning, so the Africans should be wake up. So 
different problems like uh, street kids, children, uh, people who are suffering in hungry. So that is my story for African African continent to wake up. Can you tell me your ideas, Morgan? What you're thinking while you're painting? My idea. This is just like a woman, and the woman is the big instrument in, in, in a family. Is the one who find fighting for food for the, for her family, for her children and everything, rather than a, a man. And a woman is a big instrument like a, like a mountain. This is a dress, but it's just like a mountain. So the woman is selling fruit and other stuffs to find the basic need for for her family. Here, the woman is crying because all responsibilities is left to her more to, than to her husband. Can use what you can give. 